Hello and welcome to Tofu Cute TV where you can get your fill of all things cute, tasty and kawaii! Hi everyone! Long time no see, it is so good to be back. The past while we had um, Digifest, Tofu Cute Digifest on our Instagram and our Facebook and our TikTok and stuff so I really hope you're following us there. But yeah, Digifest is done now, thank you for those that took part in all the fun things we did. And we've got so many new exciting things in, including a lot of plush. So today we wanted to show you our favourite plush that have come in in the latest delivery of cute plush from Japan. So I really hope you enjoy. I quickly wanted to say that last week we received a letter and I'm going to be showing it on our Instagram story at some point next week. So please do keep an eye out if you did send us a letter. And thank you so, so much. We really appreciate it. I'm hoping I'll be able to do another Tofu Mail video in future. So I'll leave some info in the description on YouTube so that you can see our address and send us a letter if you'd like to. I've got Laska and Kiri joining me today to show our favourite plush. So I'm actually going to show you two different ones. I'm going to show my personal favourite plush we have right now and then like just the most incredible plush which is probably like the Tofu Cute general favourite. But let's start with my first one, my, my favourite and then we'll go to Kiri and Laska. So I really love sea creatures. I'm a little scared of like crustaceans, like crabs and lobsters and stuff, but I really like octopi or octopuses and I really like sea slugs and I, and I really like like axolotls. Are they a sea creature? I really like, you know, all the typical cute little mushy looking sea creatures. And we have got in a series, which I'm so glad we have, because you don't get to interact with many sea creatures, you know? They're, they're deep under the ocean and you don't usually get to give them a cuddle, but we have da -da -da -da, a sea slug series. There's four different designs. I think the giant's only two different designs, but there's also a small and a keychain, which I'll show you in a second. But the giant one, oh my goodness. So it has these long little, what would you call these? Like antenna, antennae? Look at its frilly little skirt. I love the design on the back. The tail is just, it's like a little sea bunny. And this is just the best for cuddling. Oh my gosh, it's really nice. <laughs> you kind of just sink into it. Here I have one of the small ones, which has like stars and like pastel colors all over it. It's super cute. All of the shades of color they've used are just perfect. And here I have the keychain version, which is really, really small, but just as squishy and soft as the giant one. If you compare the two, the difference is <laughs> absolutely huge. You can see the four different colours on the tag here and they're all so cute. They're all really pastel as well so they look really nice as a collection. So yeah, if you like them as much as I do, please get one before they're gone. Hello everyone, it's me Kiri and I'm here to talk to you about my favourite plush at the moment from our latest shipment. Uh, I have with me these beautiful autumnal squirrels. They are the Fosafo Nuts Going Out Squirrels. They come with these beautiful mushroom bags that they are both modelling. Fortunately you can't put anything in it but that's because it's full of their nuts. <laughs> um, they come in these two colours and you can also get them in smalls. I think they're very cute because they have these beautiful bushy tails, very nice. They have these elegant fashion accessories. I particularly like this yellow one because he seems to have forgotten where he put his nuts. What an expression. Can you help him find his nuts? You should go out with your squirrel, this one specifically, who has lost his nuts, and photograph him on a tree stump and add him to your cottage core vibe on your Instagram. He will fit in perfectly. Autumnal cottage core dream. <laughs> so if you are in any doubt about whether to rehome these squirrels who are packed and ready to go, you'd be nuts not to. Hello, I'm Laska. And previously to Tofu Cute many moons ago, I was actually a barista. I absolutely loved making coffee. Uh, it was a really fun job and actually I've been really lucky recently to go to the Artbox Cafe and I got to help them make some really cute coffees uh, for a couple of days. For my top plush recommendation, I of course had to choose the Kohamu Happy Cafe plush. Ah. 
So what I love about the hamster series, just in general, is that they are so round and just really chubby. Look at his big old fat cheeks. Such a cute series. As you can see, he's got his little green cap. He's got his little apron and it says Coron Cafe. And I feel like he's just gonna make you like the best coffee. Look at him, he's so sweet and so polite. I think the Toffee Brown is always my favourite, but in this series there's also this really cute girly pink hamster. And she has this beautiful chocolate brown apron and a matching bow. In fact, I think I'd like to cosplay as her one day. I think it would be so cute. She's got her hands together as well. She just looks like she's standing behind the till waiting for you to place your order. And lastly, we have this rather cute albino hamster. And he's the little customer with his little ring donut that looks Looks absolutely delicious. I love this guy because he hasn't got any other accessories and you can just see like just how round he is. He's really lovely. They make really good just squishy cuddly plush. Really really sweet. Absolutely love this series. Hi again! So I have the last plush we're going to be showing today and it is super duper special and I feel very blessed to be showing it because it's definitely, as I said at the beginning, one of Team Tofu's favourite plush we've ever had. More eels! So as you can see, it's very, very long and it has a lovely vacant expression. Now don't be alarmed by what I'm about to do. We're, we're, we're actors, we're professional actors, okay? <laughs> I don't even know how to describe what this is, but isn't it beautiful? Not only are they good for putting your arms into, they're also good for hiding things in. So if you had like some snacks that you wanted to hide from someone, or maybe a little keychain that you wanted to keep very, very safe, you could just, you know, just put it right on in there. And who would know? Do you want to see a trick? <laughs> so this is the small size, which is just the perfect size for like eel shenanigans on the go. You can like bend into different shapes. And you can do all kinds of things with them. This one as well. He has <laughs> he has a mouth that can hold things. <laughs> and last but not least, we have this little guy. So he's not quite a keychain, but he does have a special talent. If you squeeze him here, his mouth opens, so you can like clip him onto things. Once again, endless possibilities. You could have them like on your curtain rails, you could have them attached to like your pen, you could just have them hanging off your hand all day long. <laughs> if you want an eel tea, you know where to find them. I'll write in the description once again. You can find a link to our site. Last time, as I said, they went quickly and a lot of people have been asking when they'll be back. So I'm really glad that they are back. Thank you so much for watching our plush recommendations today. I'd really love to know if there's any other products you want us to show on the YouTube channel. Um, I want to do a snacks recommendation video soon, but if there's anything in particular you want to see us do, then please let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We are so close to 10k now, it's crazy. I can't tell you how excited I am to finally get there. And it's all thanks to your support, so thank you so, so much. I hope you've had fun today with us. See See you soon and stay cute.